morning squad good morning it's your girl diana this morning on this beautiful beautiful marvelous monday all right guys um yeah today is day seven today actually makes a week that i've been on the keto diet guys and i'm going to talk to y'all about my first week on keto and um how it's it is to transition on keto because i've been asked that question and uh so yeah i want to i want to tell y'all as best as i possibly can how it was for me and uh, the, some of the changes and, you know, the process of what I went through and how I transitioned over to keto. So I'm going to try to set my camera down. And if it starts getting dark, I don't know how to do the lighting on this camera. I need the sun to shine. It got a little cloudy out here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the best I can without um, making it so dark that you guys can't see me. So let me go ahead and set the camera down. All right, guys. So I'm back. All right. So let's talk about how I first started, uh, what it took for me when I first started keto diet. How did I get to that point? Um, what made me, you know, I think I talked about that part, but let's talk about the transitioning part. First thing you want to do is first you have to, it's psychological. I'm telling you guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to definitely think about um, being serious when you want to do the keto diet. Because let me tell you, the keto diet is, is something you really have to focus on. You really got to put your mind into it. Um, when I knew that a week before and prior that I really wanted to do the keto diet, the first thing I did to help me to transition, I did some homework. And uh, when I say homework, I read, I looked at videos on YouTube. I did just different little things to get me ready, to prepare me. I looked at videos where people were like my size. And then I looked at how they, they you know, how they progress and then how, how did they transition? So the one thing that you want to definitely do when you're starting the keto, keto I cut down, when you're getting ready to start keto, you want to, like I said, do your research, do your research. And the most important thing is because there is times like in my household, two of us are on keto. There's three of us live here, but one is not on keto. And so I had to go and clean out my refrigerator. I had to go and clean out the stuff that I know that I was eating that was not good for me, that I knew that was not going to be a part of the keto diet. So first of all, I had to get rid of things that I knew I used to eat. I had to get rid of creamers that I used. So I used up all my cream, my favorite, which is hazelnut cream. I used, I used it all up. I didn't want to throw it away. I used it. Uh, so I didn't have much that I had to throw away. Um, but I had to get rid of some things and reorganize my refrigerator, reorganize my cabinets. And then I looked at videos on things that we can eat. I'm trying to learn about macros. Um, as you know, keto is a, um, it's a low carb, high fat, moderate protein diet. And so you're now thinking in your head, how does this go? How do you work these numbers? And this is what the macro looks like. And so people wonder, like, what is macros? Because even I didn't understand what it was. So I had to do my homework on that, too. And I'm still learning. But you also have to prepare yourself. Pre pre preparation is key, guys. When I say prepare yourself, if you know you need to go to the store because you don't have water, you don't have olive oil, you don't have uh, butter. They say grass fed butter, which is the best butter. But, you know, it's somewhat pricey. So butter, you know, but real butter is the key and I like I will tell you anybody use unsalted butter but anyway you sometimes we buy parquet margarine we use all that stuff get rid of it or you know the next person in the house may use it so yeah we still got two sticks of it in the house even she don't like it because I've gotten her so used to using regular butter but you got to make sure your kitchen is keto friendly make sure your kitchen is ready uh, also every day every day you only have to get through that day you know, don't try to think ahead like I did. Like, this was where I messed up at, guys. I started messing up. Uh, my first, this first, this first seven days has been like a challenge for me. I'm sorry it's going uh, dark and light, but it's been a challenge for me, guys. Let me go ahead and bring this up. It's been like a challenge for me. I might have to stand. I'm sorry. This lighting, it just didn't want to work for me today. But um, you have to have a mind that's made up. If, you know, if you really want to lose weight if this is your reason maybe it's because you want to lose weight or maybe it's because oh what does that you know what hold on guys try to stand so maybe you just want to get healthy i don't know whatever your reason is my reason for doing keto is to lose weight but also to be healthy uh and to maintain this lifestyle so 
you have to be ready in your mind to know that this is something that you want to do. Now, the first week, you're going to have some hang-ups, especially if you haven't done your homework. You're going to have some mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to, things are going to, you're going to get a little frustrated. Um, but it's all a part of the process because, you know, we've been so comfortable eating the way that we eat. We've been so comfortable drinking what we want to drink and just doing all the things that we love to do. But transitioning is just having a mindset ready to do this. Preparation is your number one key. Like I said, uh, you may not be able to go to the store and get everything that you see on these cooking recipes, every snack that they have. You may not have all that. So what you're going to have to do is work around that. So take before you get on the keto diet, look and see what foods are good for you, what foods you can eat, what foods you can and cannot have, you know, how to make some, get some recipes down. You know, don't, I didn't do this, but write you some recipes, get you some recipes down for the, maybe the first week and uh, for your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and your snacks. And that way you can, you won't be like, okay, like I was like, what am I going to eat? I was leaving and going to work. And then by the time lunch came, I was hungry, but I stayed focused. And I didn't go buy a hamburger. I did buy a burger, but I bought a burger without without the bread. You know, and I had all the sides and the mayonnaise because I needed all that. You need that fat. You need that protein. You need uh, the low carbs. You need these things. So I did that. That's what I did. And I learned that from last week that to make sure that when I leave, to make sure I have me a snack. And uh, so in order to know what type of snack you need to have while you're out and about, if you don't know, you got Google, you got Pinterest, you got YouTube, you got all kind of help. There is so much. You don't have to go out like some people. I was telling a lady last night, um, I was at Walgreens and they had this book and just stood out and said, Keto. You know, it's a book about Keto. And I, the book was $13. The magazine was $13. $13? Mm -mm. So anyway, I wasn't going to pay no $13 for no magazine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just keeping it real. My best friend is YouTube and the names of Pinterest, the things that I've, on, I've given to you. And they also have on here to kind of help you keep up with your account. And it's a free app called My Fitness Pal. I think My Fitness Pal, My Fitness Partner. I don't know, but I'll put the uh, link down in the description. Uh, that way you guys can check it out. I mean, it's on your Anson, your Android Play Store. It's also, I guess, on, on, uh, on your iPhone. I have an Android. But um, get whatever you need. Those are tools. You need to get the tools to help you to be successful. Do like I'm doing. Just like you come on and you may ask a question of how I do this. You came to the right place because I went to, the, I went to YouTube and I, I met not physically, but I met good people. There are people that will also link you to other people like doctors and, and, and people, instructors. And if you want to put exercise in, which is great, but don't focus on, I got to exercise. I got to, I got to do this. I got to do that. No, sorry. Buy you a tablet. I bought me a tablet. I went to the Dollar Tree and bought me a tablet so that I can now this week, starting today, I will write down my diary. I will make a goal. I will write down my goals and I will put down what I've had. Um, what is my meal today? You know, write this stuff down. If you know that you're going to eat a certain meal on today, write it down. That's going to be your, that's going to be your success plan is writing it down and then looking up how many proteins is in this piece of chicken. You know, how many fats is in this cheese or how many fats is in this butter, you know, so that you can meet your goal. Because, um, the best thing, like I said, my fitness pal, I believe that's what it is. You, it's going to ask you questions. What? Guys, I had some mechanical technical problems. But anyway, yo, so like I was saying, you have to do, definitely do your research, have your mind made up, and always think positive that I can do this. I got this. Yeah, let's work it out. Let's go. You know, you got to keep yourself positive and get you a keto friendly community. Link it with someone that you know is doing keto that can, you can hold each other accountable. You know, you need, you're going to need that. I'm telling you because I needed it. I love, I don't need a loud vehicle. I love being able to go on YouTube and link up with someone and comment and we talk back. You know, I like that. And I, it's good to ask questions like Danny. I'm glad Danny, Danny's one that asked about the transition uh, so I'm glad that I'm able to tell you how I transition. And you just have to have a made-up mind, Danny, that you are ready for a changed lifestyle and that you are ready. So prepare yourself. You know, take the first week uh, before you even start and get your mind ready. You know, get your mind ready. Um, get all these things. Let me tell you, before I even transition, I ate stuff that I knew that I wouldn't be able to eat on keto. 
And was I happy I did that? It didn't fulfill my desire, but I did it because I thought I was going to miss it. And to tell you the truth, sometimes every now, oh, I'm so shaky. Sometimes you will have that desire. Sometimes you may think about it, but after being on keto for a little, see this first week, I know I can make it. I am, I am determined. Get you to pray for willpower. And, you know, I pray that you get willpower to do uh, the, the keto diet. I'm shaking so much, guys. I'm making the camera shake. I'm making Now, anyway, so get you a desire to know that this is something I'm going to do and I'm going to be successful at it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it because big as I am, I can do it. And I can't wait to weigh myself because now I'm wondering, have I dropped any pounds? So today I have to go weigh in. So just if I haven't lost anything, um, I may have lost inches. I don't know. I feel like I may have lost some, but I'm only going to be able to tell when I get on that scale. So I'm preparing my mind for whatever that skill says, but this week is a new week. So this week I'm determined to do better. I am going to, I got my tablet. I'm going to write out my tablet. You know, I'm going to prepare myself. So this is what you got to do. You know that you're going to transition over from eating carbs like you used to, to down to maybe eating 20 carbs, 20 carbs a day, you know, uh, but set your goal. You have to say everybody's goal is different. You can't be like everybody. Everybody can't do it like I do it. Everybody can't, but you can try. You know, we could try. We could try to do it like that person does it because it does not hurt. It does not hurt because sometimes we need help. And I'm sorry I'm so dark on this camera. I don't understand this camera. But anyway, guys, I hope that I have helped you in learning how to transition, how to prepare yourself, prepare yourself and transition from eating the way we used to to eating keto style. And let me tell you, they got all kinds of stuff. I just recently bought me some good old keto ice cream, butter pecan, okay? And it is so good. But I just can't express it how much you have to definitely do your research. So I wish any of you guys that are getting on the keto diet, I wish you the best. I know you can do it. I know you can. I know you can. So let's do this, all right? And let's lose this weight. Let's get fine. I don't even wear shirts like this, but guess what? I'm thinking about keeping my shirt on today. I don't wear. I cover up, and I still may cover up. But be secure in what you do. Stay focused. Stay positive. And uh, let's high five. Bam! Because I know you got this. All right, with that being said, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Any other questions, concerns that you may have, if I don't know it, you can best believe I'll go look it up for you. We'll both know it. So with that being said, I'm praying that you will be successful. I love you. Thank you for joining the squad. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment again. I'll say that because I love to talk, as you can see, but I'm going to get off of here. But that being said, guys, I love you. And here is your kiss. Bye, guys. Bye.